the vast type of cash flow might be uneven now in uneven cash flow your question will have no pattern at all so any amount can come at any year let's look at an example there are two streams over here stream a and stream b at stream a you can see that at the end of year one there is 100 at the end of year two 400 at the end of year three 400 again at the end of year four 400 and at the end of year five 300 similarly stream b you can also see that the cash flows are fluctuating so both of the question uh, both of the streams are uneven cash flow streams you need to find the present value of these cash flow streams at 8% compounded annually. So we will use this formula once again. Remember this formula is something that can be used in every case. Only equal cash flows have their own specific cash flows that are a shorter way of doing that. Now, if we want to use this formula over here, because this is a single cash flow formula, it means that you will have to discount back each and every cash flow and then sum up your answers. That means this 100 will go back one year. The second 400 will go back two years, one and two. Similarly, the third 400 will go back three years and so on. So if we look at the solution, it means you will solve it this way. The first 100, because it is coming back one year, you have power one over here. The second 400, because you're bringing it back two years, has power two and so on. The last one, if you look at the last 300, because you're bringing it back five years, it has power five. One, two, three, four and five. The interest rate is 8% and you have taken the respective future values. If you calculate the amount, you get 1251.24. Similarly, we are going to calculate for stream B as well. So if you calculate for stream B, the 300 will come back one year. This 400 will come back two years, so power two. The next 400 will come back 3 years, so power 3. And the last, uh, the second last 400 will come back 4 years. And the last 100 will come back 5 years. So the powers will change accordingly. And over here, the answer is coming 1300.31. So out of both of the cash flows, which one has a higher present value this one has a present value 1251 and this one has a present value of 1300 so this one has a higher present value if this is a cash flow stream of income you would prefer the higher present value if i'll repeat this if this is a cash flow stream of income let's say uh, these two streams pertain to the income you might get from two contracts contract a and b so if these are cash inflows for a person if they are their income that person will prefer the one that gives him or her the highest present value that would mean that that cash flow has more purchasing power it has more worth Whereas if this cash flow is related to expenses, you would prefer the one that has the lower present value in that case. So if this is an income, you would prefer stream B.